Lord, have mercy. tell you the truth about the river, okay? Now, the truth about the river is we didn't learn how to swim. Water to me was like, we don't do water. You know, but now I look at the water and it's beautiful. We're in G's Bend, Alabama and at my mom's house. And this is my mom and this is Reba Mosley. Yeah, I am a fourth generation quitter, quitter. I uh, started when I was 12 years old. I really didn't want to, but it was something that was expected of the girls in G's Bend. You had to learn how to quilt. I got into it and I made a, quite a few quilts and people brought it to our attention that, you know, about the quilts being art. And, and then I just started seeing art in things. It was just amazing to go in, in a museum and see quilts that we had slip on, you know, hanging on the wall. I started understanding that it wasn't just the quilt, this was was my inheritance. Something I had inherited from my great grandmother, my aunts, my mom, and who was I to say no? You know, who was I to stop the generation of quilters? I guess the quilts was calling me back. I guess you might as well say calling me back home. I've never been ashamed of where I came from. I've never been ashamed to say I came from G's Bend. Even before the quilts got famous, I've never been ashamed of who, who I am. And I love home. We slept under those quilts, and a lot of those quilts was made out of uh, clothes that people had worn. When the quilts finally came out into the world, it was a time when people was losing their home, they was losing their jobs, they were losing everything they had. Now here come quilts that <clears throat> belong to people that had always had things taken away from them that was always having a fight to survive. This journey has been a great journey. I always say from rags that sometime was lost, that you know you was on the wagon and, and something blew off and you didn't know it, and somebody came and found it, ended up in a quilt, ended up on a museum wall. The quilts gave the women of G's Bend a voice. They gave them a place in the world. They took them places that we had never been. I think places that we had, had never even dreamed about going. <laughs>